I hate four plus grinding. This video has been delayed so much because of my genius idea to get a four plus on J before this video comes out. But the only thing I got to show are these thousand plus runs. Even now, as I record and edit this video right here, the one you're currently watching, I'm still farming, hoping I get a four plus. Like I know it's already out in JP, but can we go on ahead and get the item that buffs up crest rates? I don't know how much it buffs it up by, but anything will be better than what we have now. Jay is a fantastic unit. This guy is a all out attacker that just has so much going for him. Like if we look at his passive, jump start, gives him 200 art gauge win battle start. Win battle start is every Every single stage, ladies and gentlemen, not just in the very beginning of a quest. This is every single stage you're getting tuner art gauge no matter what. Also, he has one of the hardest names for any passive in the entire game, Starving Wolf. This is his leader skill passive. If he's the leader, he buffs up everybody's damage res by 10%. But if he's not the leader, he gets 60% accuracy, which doesn't come in handy all the time. Still very useful either way. 10% damage res will add up with all the other damage res effects they're going to be having on the team anyway. In terms of what he's actually doing kit wise, the skills just lowering evasion rate, nothing too crazy. The art is a water damage buff along with 20 art gauge to the entire team. The true art can give you a massive 80% damage res down on the enemy. So it's a very quick true art too, not that slow. And the super art is a ramping super art giving you art gauge and damage and if you use it within the first 120 seconds of a quest you're getting a hundred percent damage and four arts per second instead of just two disgusting in terms of his slots he's a five star physical five star heal and a four star physical now you may be thinking that you would need his true weapon for one of his best items i'm gonna be honest with you his true weapon is pretty solid but i don't really like it his true weapon gives him extra damage it gives him more bright power you can use it if you want to but a lot of the times especially if you're using him in nukes or certain auto situations you might be opting in for other items like true shooting star something that's lowering physical res or buffing up physical damage in some way i don't really think you need to use a arch gen equip on this guy since he gives himself 200 arc gauge but if you want to you could always opt in with the usual stuff like true Zanagi or whatever else for the five star heal i'm gonna be recommending fina devil wings just to give you a stats up and a heal alongside it if you don't have fina devil wings you can also go with demonic wicked globe to buff up your hp stat and also give you a massive heal or you could even go with ultra relic empty heart to give you the arch gen plus the healing over time and then four star physical i've been using other light this is from the phantom bullet priscilla side story i like the animation on it it gives you a little bit more damage. It's cool. If you have the other like four star physicals like Garms, for an example, it gives you 25% damage up and then it lowers your break value to zero. Also, Geo Zagnus has a really strong four star physical as well. B3 Claws, of course, very good in sustain comps. In terms of the crest slots on this character, there's, I would say, a few that kind of stick out, but he doesn't really have too many options that I would say are just insanely good on him. For one, attack up, very good. He's a damage dealer. He wants to have as much raw attacks stats as he can he doesn't need art gauge up or equipment ct down or anything like that so i would just opt in for more damage from this point so something like pofg or even curse frost or if you're using this guy as mainly your farmer you could also give him a player xp crest just to make sure you get a little bit more xp than what you usually do and you already know you already know look at how he's standing bro you gotta know bro the man j dripped out like he got the coat over him the hand on the hip man uh, by the way he does use a gun blade that's what this is i don't know does it actually say that in the compendium it doesn't actually say that that's what he's using but this is supposed to be gs's version of a gun blade something similar to that of squall from final fantasy but i really wish they would have called it like a blaster blade whenever we look at the animations you can see there's not too much uh gun part of it i mean it's still a gun but you know so we have the attack skill here as you see just a little zap right in front of him an energy blast and that's that we have the skill which is the first time you see the blade you see it instantly come out and it actually is very quick. We have the art here, which is both of the guns and then boom, massive blast on top of it. I love how he's jumping everywhere too. Like he's just showing off his speed like that, that after image into him backdashing. Sheesh. We have the true art, charge the blade, slices up, slices down. Very quick true art, by the way. I mean, it does take a minute for him to charge it up right here. But uh, if you want to use this specifically for nukes, it actually works really well. And then we have the super art, which does take quite a bit for him to do all of it because he does so much. He slices first, he does the blast, and then that's pretty much it. And then we have the super art, which is a little bit lengthy. He does the slash first, then he does a huge blast on top of it. And that's kind of it. I really wish they would have incorporated the blades a little bit more into the super art, apart from just the beginning. Part of me would have rather him have some 
some type of crazy combo attack with the blade on the super art and then let this super art that we have here be kind of like his true art because that would have been insane like you know if this was kind of the super art but it had more to it like a little bit more flair with all of the blade attacks i think that would be what i would have liked a lot more because if we're using like a gun blade or like a blaster type blade like this I want to see a lot of combo attacks with this man, which, you know, we got quite a bit, but still. Overall, Jay got a lot of sauce. He got a lot of drip, especially the sprite work. I love how he looks in game. And I'm going to say he's probably like an 8 out of 10. Really love the animations on this character. I uh, just wish there was more sword attacks. That's the only negative I really have with it. Uh, overall, animations are very quick, very good, and... He's saucy. That's all that matters. When it comes to utilizing Jay in a team, to be honest, he can fit in a lot of different situations and practically any team comp. Even though he is just an attacker, he has actually quite a bit going for a team. One of the teams that I've been using quite a bit in harder content with them has been the Jay, War God Finn, Haruto, and Shiro comp. This comp really focuses on buffing up War God Finn's damage even more by lowering damage res with Jay, lowering physical res with Shiro, and then buffing up arch damage and lowering earth res with Haruto. Naruto. And yeah, this team right here works phenomenally. We went up against one of the newest boss fights in the game against uh, this guy. I think it was like something common and obliterated. Absolutely decimated by these four. So much synergy with everybody with the physical res down, the damage res, all the buffs from the crits and the arts damage. It's just... Mm so freaking good if we ever get an ascended support character it's going to be over that's all i gotta say like if we get a ascended haruto type character it's actually gg for practically every piece of content this game will ever throw at you if you look at the damage chart unfortunately jay didn't deal as much damage as war god finn but still did his job a-okay next thing we took him up against was the one and only emmy with this exact same team comp and Still worked really well. Uh, it was a close call, and I will say, a uh, spoiler alert, Jay did die at the end here, uh, but we're not going to worry about that. Even in harder content, though, he's really freaking good. And the thing that makes him so good, and the reason why I love using him with Shiro, is because of the damage res leader passive that he has. Jay's damage res is only 10% sure, but it's a leader skill, and this thing is active 24-7. There is no conditions on it. So if you have him set as leader, you have a constant 10% DR. If you use someone like Shiro, Emia alongside him, sure Emia goes into Blade Works, you're up to pretty much 40% DR all the time passively. Once you factor in like Shiro's art plus the equips and everything, you're pushing 100% DR almost all the freaking time. As you can see in the various nukes I did against multiple crest fights, this man Jay destroys every single mechanic that you ever have to worry about in majority of farming type content. It is so dumb how strong jay actually is at doing his job like you wouldn't think he would be super op or anything on paper which i don't even think i would consider him op i feel like that's a little bit clickbaity and then uh, i don't know i don't really consider a character op unless we're talking about someone on the level of like star god lisa or war god finn shiro emia like people like them but jay is so freaking close to being them. this guy has everything he has amazing wave clear, constant arc gauge on every single stage, a burst arch gen buff to the entire team for the first 120 seconds of a quest, massive damage res down that he can apply onto an enemy, ramping potential on the super art, amazing in both nukes and sustain, and literally one of the best units in the entire game to give your luck gems to, which is debatable, sure, because a lot of people like doing that to more of their support characters or whatever, but I'm just gonna tell you, if you get the luck gems, you max luck them, you're good. You don't ever have to use another farming style character in the game unless you fight a boss that's like physical resist or something. But he's not perfect, of course. There's a few cons that definitely hurt him. Um, one of the main ones that I personally see is that just he's a damage dealer, right? It doesn't matter really how crazy he is at clearing waves or doing damage or helping out other people. He's mainly just a DPS unit. He's not really a support character. He's not really offering anything that is going to be helping the team, like in terms of art gauge or any type of like substantial buff, which I guess is another thing is that in longer form contents sure you can argue that he's weak another thing that is definitely um, a little bit off-putting nowadays compared to other characters is that this guy has no type of innate crit chance or defense ignore but yeah all in all jay is a fantastic unit i don't know where i would put him necessarily on a tier list if i had to rate like all of the ascended units we may have to do that again within like a few months or something he is phenomenal i love him 
I, the only thing is I don't think he's worth summoning for on the current banner that is here which is the all-stars banner i know for a fact jay's gonna come back later on on his own unique banner i hope at least do not let this guy be exclusive to all-stars but whenever he comes back on his own unique banner possibly featured alongside canary he could be a amazing pickup for anyone in the game especially if you're new if you got lucky and got your jay you have one of the best attackers for you for quite a long time especially as a new player this guy has everything that you could possibly want very self-sufficient and you don't have to really worry about much with them so yeah that's jay i love him definitely need to luck 100 this character and also i need to get a four plus on him i'm gonna be trying to do that for the rest of the week while we have half stamina on crest palaces because uh your boy needs it bad Either way, that's going to be it for this one, man. Thank you all again for coming out. It's been your boy P. If you enjoyed this video, have me check out either one of the other videos popping on the screen right now. Great content. Guarantee you'll love them. Oh, and one more thing before you leave. Don't forget to drink water.